Welcome back to another video. Today is a very good day. One, it's Friday. Two, bank holiday weekend. Three, car parts. But we've had so many problems with this car trying to start it. I mean, I, I could not even go through through it all. Oh, yeah. I'm also forgetting the most important bloody one is where I've tried to start it for months and months. And then I gave in. I called my tuner and said, can you come down? Can you plug your laptop in? La -ra -ra, I can't get it started. I'm giving up. I'm, I'm throwing in a towel. Please come and help me. He comes in, plugs his laptop in, goes, I know your problem. He's like, what? So, yeah. So they used to use locked from the factory. So, oh, great. Okay, I call the supplier, get onto them, get the key for it to unlock it. Yeah, unlocked it. Yeah, okay, cool. Base map on it is for a V8. <laughs> Sound. Okay. Um, so then after the tuners sort of like gone away, built me a base map, come back, and right, right, right. We then start going through and finding all these other problems like map sensor, injectors, coils, blah, blah, blah. Um, so yeah, it, it's just been a jump around. So I've had new casts, new coils, new spark plugs, new injectors, fixed map sensors, fixed wiring. Um, had to get a new base map and oh, it was just, so yeah. So hopefully I put these injectors in and this should be the end of my stress. <laughs> I'm so glad that in the end I went for Dietrichworks injectors. Uh, I did have uh, some Nismo 1000cc injectors in there. Looks like they're cylinder five, uh, injectors stuck on, uh, cylinder four and three. Flow rate was different compared to the others, so I don't know what happened there, but yeah, that was down. So I've already swapped out all the injectors. So these are the old Nismo ones, which are obviously failing. So this was six, five, four, three, two, one. And you see obviously where I had problems on five and four, look, you pulls the fuel coming out, five and four, nothing. So these are the ones that were stuck, uh, I assume was stuck on because the, obviously the engine hydrolocked, pulled the spark plug and cranked it and fuel comes shooting out of five and four. Plus the spark plugs were completely clean so they hadn't fired at all. So I assume they were just stuck on. Um, and yeah, as you can see, look, pulls the fuel. So. so I pulled my plugs, you can see here, Sort of trying to fire, trying to fire. That's uh, cylinder four, cylinder five there. Like they, they haven't fired at all, where it's had so much fuel, they're just so wet, they just won't fire. So I've had them out on the side here, just covered up um, for weeks now, trying to dry them out. All right, okay, so I've got a, got a new gas. Uh, went for a new gasket as well, replace all the goodness. Um, so I'm just gonna pop that in, I might clean that up. Um, the old, I just pulled the old cast off and with the old gasket, it was absolutely destroyed. Um, it's, I mean, there's still bits of gasket coming out of it now. Um, so yeah, so I'm glad I got a new gasket. So yeah, I'm going to whack that in and then we'll get onto the sensors. Right. So these are the new, uh, coil pack that I got. So basically the only difference to tell if it's a RB25 series one or series two, or even a Neo coil, which are different because the series one have a separate igniter chip and the series two don't. So this one, as you can see the bracket here, that, so this bracket is all the way around. So that is a series one, series two. It has no bracket on the top. Look, that top bit doesn't go across, just on the bottom. So that's a series two. Series one is both sides. So yeah. So I had series two core packs, which is why I weren't working. Um, so this is just that scary point of have I done everything up before I try to start it? Hmm. Did you hear it? Did you hear it? That's, it was great. <laughs> that was great. Did you hear it? Yes, I heard yeah. it. Bitch. Like... Right, so we're back. Like I said at the end of the last video, we got some seats and sent the dash off to get covered. So this is black Milano suede. Got it coated in. 
as you can see, I've got it back and I've already started cutting into it because uh, I've decided to put the braking clutch reservoirs under the dash now. I'm gonna make like an access port there uh, to get into it. So that's great. Pay for some in there and start cutting into it straight away. Then uh, I went to GSM Performance, got custom fit for some seats. These seats I actually didn't like on the website. Started going through the website and I liked their new grid cues and stuff like that. And they looked the best. These I really didn't like. And then actually sitting in them and testing them, these were the best seats and they were the cheapest. So bonus there. And then uh, the windshield's in, got a windshield. Um, it's actually quite weird. I ca called like the local windscreen places and everyone's quoting like four, five, six hundred quid. And this one guy just said 200 quid. I was like, well, that's a bit weird. Like there's something off there. Then he come and done it. And yeah, it's perfect. Perfect fit. Just use some uh, universal trim, but I'm happy with that. So um, yeah, I'm going to get to cutting out the dash. And then uh, once the dash is in, we'll fit the seats. I think I've been in the garage for like... 10 20 minutes i'm dripping there's sweat going everywhere i now know how evan shanks feels in texas i mean this is nothing to his heat but yeah i'm i'm a wet boy <laughs> interior is basically done now so that, that gauge actually come out uh the dash come out really good um and then got a little porthole there for the um reservoirs uh got this little it's like a 3d printed one just off ebay gauge pod i'll probably get it um like wrapped in carbon fiber or something and maybe these like old plastic trim bits as well so it'd be like carbon carbon and then like all this carbon um but yeah all the cigarette light works the mirrors will work once the mirrors are on there's no door but yeah they're all plugged in um so yeah but that's looking quite nice now other than still got all the wires to be plugged into like these uh, I haven't put those in yet and then once the pedal box is in it'll be pretty sweet so I was just editing the video in the car on the way to Manchester me and Ellie going to Manchester for the weekend which will be in the next vlog um, so I've got to do an outro um, to quickly explain why I turned the car off so quickly when I started it uh, it was running really rich where we tried to start it before and it was hydro locking the fuel um, my tuner pulled a load of fuel out, so it's only on two milliseconds of fuel, so it's really rich. Um, basically, I just wanted to start it to see if, it, it, if all the problems sorted and started. So I started it and then cut it straight away. Um, he's away, he's actually a rally driver, my tuner, so he's away doing some rallies at the moment. Um, I'll try to see if I can get some pictures off him, it'd be pretty cool to um, see if we can get some footage of that. Um, yeah, once he's back from the rallies, he's gonna come and come along and have a look at the tune, make sure it's all safe, put some more fuel in it. Um, but yeah, so basically that's why it was cut so quickly. Um, but at least we know it starts um, and it's all good. So yeah, um, make sure to tune into the next video. Um, so I'm gonna do more of a vlog style one, uh, me and Ellie are on the way to Manchester for the weekend. Um, staying at a nice hotel, sort of where I've been working away so much. So you know, got to spend some quality time together. Um, so yeah, so make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and see you in the next one.